Well, we're going into the garden for another cool planter idea. This one is for the music lovers out there. KKL 9 Sandra Mitchell and Nick Federoff are in the garden. Good morning. We're in the garden with our friend Nick Federoff. Beautiful spring day, and Nick's trying to join a band. I, mean, I think so. You look the part. <laughs> I do look the part. That's a cello, though. This I don't is think a cello. You play Isn't it that, that nice? <laughs> and you know what we're going to do for today's program? What? We're going to sacrifice the cello. Can you believe that? Uh, I have a friend, he's uh, Vitali Violins in Whittier, mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and, and uh, I was talking to him one day, I wanted to take a violin that I own, and I wanted to make a planner out of it. Mm. And he says, no, 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 he says, I've got a cello for you. Oh, more yeah. space. Yeah, <laughs> more space for it. So what was really interesting was that um, I actually had this planted once already for him. Mm -hmm. And then I noticed that we, uh, because of the construction of what's going on here, it started falling apart a little bit because it's, it's just really, uh, it's glued on and it really doesn't want to be wet. Oh. So what I figured what we'd do is that we'd get some kind of mastic and this is a spray mm -hmm. mastic and we spray the inside to get all the, get all the areas where it's glued, okay? Uh, this material will eventually rot out. So you just kind of have to be okay with the fact that that's what's going to happen. But the mm -hmm. exciting part about it is, is that you can keep the different parts to it. And we actually have this over at his place of business. And when the customers come in and they see it full of plants, they get so excited because it's like, wow, bringing music and plants together. Because as we know, there is a symbiotic relationship between music and plants. Mm -hmm. A lot of people thought it was the music itself, but I, uh, uh, but uh, it's actually the person who cares for the plant. Aww. And that's exactly what happens there. So let's put this away and get planting. How's okay. that sound? Okay, so we're going to start off with everything that we've ever started off with before. And uh, I just picked a bunch of different types of plants over here. No rhyme or reason for it. Mm -hmm. uh, if you wanted to make it thematic, you can make it thematic. If you're going to put nothing but herbs, you can put it in herbs. You could put it, uh, you could put the flowers in here or mm -hmm. whatever. But we always want to start off with a good soil base. So go ahead and pour that in okay. there if you would, please. All over? Sure. A little bit on the dusty side here, huh? Yeah. So, I'm going to do this. Uh, a lot of musical instruments, string instruments, they're made out of maple wood. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have birch in here as well. We kept the very rust. I mean, this literally just, you the just thing. just pop the top Yeah, off. just pop the top off. Just took a thing and look it off. Now, because of our plants, I think we should actually start, uh, we should actually take and, and uh, uh, put some plants in. This right here is a variegated lavender. Oh my goodness, that smells so wonderful. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? Ah, so, uh, I didn't expect that. So what we're going to do here is this. We're going to turn it over, okay. tap, tap, tap. Mm -hmm. And then obviously this is, this is too big. See how tall this is? Mm -hmm. It's way too big. So can I have you squeeze that and kind of remove some of that soil? There we go. Now we're going to move it. Look at it. She's doing exactly what we want. We're going to remove about a third of that, that top there. Okay. And then I think, let's just put it right here. Okay, so we're cool. going to put this right here. Now, I think it would be kind of fun if we take this cyclamen in here, and how about if we, we put it on this side? Okay. All right, so you, would you like to do that? You do that, and while you're doing that, I don't think there's no reason we can't put a little curly parsley in here. Why? Because nobody else in their right mind would ever do that. You'd be, absolutely, I didn't have to tell you on that one. <laughs> I'm learning you're, from you, Nick. You're I'm rocking learning. and rolling. Let's stick that in right there, and then perfect. Now, because because it's in a corner and it's a very odd space, mm -hmm. take this soil and push it back and okay. push it into it and around it and push it down a little bit. Okay. So you're going to take it and push it around like that. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do the same thing over here. So obviously we need some more, we soil. Need more soil. So do we have more soil? Yeah, we have Get a little bit more soil right back. here. Okay. So if you can do that, and while you're doing that, I'm just going to put this curly parsley right here. Wow, that lavender smells nice. Yeah, nice stuff. So. Here is where we have to decide if we want to put more plants. We could see how it's casking, cascading over. Mm -hmm. Look at the contrast, just beautiful. beautiful colors. So I think we ought to just take and put some moss, moss? in there. Okay. So let's blast this thing with moss, okay? And moss, you could either pre-wet this stuff, and this is just dry moss right here. That's all this is. And then what we'll do is that we're going to decorate with some rocks. 
We got some rocks right there. Get some theme going on here. How easy was this? Yeah, it really is, and it makes just a really con neat conversation piece. So if anybody wants any more information, feel free to contact me on thingsgreen.com or through Facebook. In a cello. In a cello. <laughs> <laughs> You're watching KCAL 9 News on this Saturday morning. We'll be right back.